This was a question on advanced partitioning. Uh, I think I explained this before, but I, you know, haven't given you a visual way to do it. So I'm gonna show you the visual way here in a minute. But the question was, um, you know, they're asking me how would they go and uh, do a fresh install if they have their setup already. Uh, and their setup is, you know, they ha they have a separate uh, home folder and a separate root folder. So when the time comes and a new distribution of Ubuntu comes out. Uh, how would they uh, go ahead and do that without formatting um, their home folder? So that's what we're gonna do, okay? And uh, use VirtualBox again. Again, this applies to Linux Mint or Ubuntu or any Ubuntu derivative, I believe, okay? Anyways, uh, so you got your new distribution and you're running from the live CD and you get to this part here, okay, where you're doing the partition. Uh, you go back to where you did before, so you go to the specific partition manually, okay, so advanced one, and that's what we're going to do, okay, we're going to go and select that one, and we click forward, and here is um, what you did last time, but uh, it's a little bit different this time, so what you have to know is um, uh, where is your root folder located? at and where is your home folder so you actually have to know uh, which one it is and the first one is my root folder is common okay the second one is uh, my home folder so you have to know like you know sometimes you can look uh, you know like uh, the size of it and you'll know that it's that folder or not anyways the first one is the root and the second one is the home folder so what you have to do now is um, on this okay so click on the root one and click on change and now you're gonna select your uh, the same one that you used before so it was ext4 okay and this one was our slash uh, which is the root and this time you actually want to format it this one okay you wanna click on this checkbox here and this is only for the root folder okay so we're gonna checkbox that and click OK. And I think you have to. I think I forgot something. What up? Did I make it? No, that's it. That's all you gotta do for that one. And the next one is our home folder. Okay. And this one, all you gotta do is select the ext4 extension or whatever one you had before. Okay. Some people still use ext3. And all you gotta do is uh, select home, but don't don't do this part okay don't select the, the format okay because this is your home folder this is where all your uh, configurations your files and everything that's what you do not format okay that's the only thing that's different from the, the first time we did it and that's it hit OK right and you can see that uh, one is checked it for format the other one is not which is what we want we just only want the new distribution we don't want to delete our data okay that we want uh, to save and then you click forward and uh, you do the regular uh, installing or whatever you know that's it that's all you gotta do and problem solved